this is the beginning of part two of the video on how to use the dynamic forms module from data springs to display data saved via the dynamic forms module so last video we had stopped just after we have added all the fields from the dynamic forms instance by using the generate columns names so at this point let's keep all those fields even though user id and unique ID are not that relevant for us, but we can change them later. Now, as usual, there are lots of flexibility in, in those in the modules created by Data Springs, and this is no exception. So there are lots and lots of options here. Now, I'm not going to explore option by option. I want to see right away how this is looking like from from a user point of view. So I'm just going to scroll all the way down, and I'm going to save this. So I'm just clicking on save. Yep, and I think it, it did save. And let me click on exit control. Okay, so now I have a checkbox here under setup initial settings. Um, now I'm guessing that I I will have to go to setup template. Again, just going with what the, the module is telling me that I should do. So in the template here, I do have access to uh, a set of tokens on the on the left side, and I can also see here the the text editor. So under item, I will be creating the template that will list the the entries, and under detail, I can create the template that will be displayed when I click to see the details of that particular entry. I may or may not want to use that. In our case, I'm not going to use details. I'm just going to use, at this point, the item list template. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to add the name, the email address, how did you hear about us, and the message as well. So those are the tokens. I'm going to add a, a label. So I'm going to add a label, one label for each one. And this will be the label for this field. And message will be the last one. So let's put those in bold to give it a little bit, a little bit of a highlight here. And after each entry i'm going to put just for the sake of a uh, better visual vis visualization here i'm going to put uh, a break a line break so this is the template this is the detail the the item i'm not gonna do anything in regards to the details at this point i'm just gonna go to update this and go back exit the control panel Perfect. So right now you can see the results of that dynamic forms. Those two entries now are displayed in a in a in a better way. Now you have all the flexibility, all the control over how you want this information to be displayed. You can display this in a in a table based type of uh, layout. You can do pretty much whatever you want here with those templates. Now let's also have a look at how this will, would be displayed for an end user who doesn't have admin access. Let's go to this page and let's just flip this to all users. Now let's go to Internet Explorer. I do have access to this page. Now I don't need to be logged in. So here is a, uh, the, the simple visualization of our template. Now, if we go back there as, as admin, you can export the results to Excel, to, to PDF. Now let's explore some other options of this module, of Dynamic Views module. If we go back to the control panel and we go to View Templates. Now we have explored the item template, which is the one that lists all the content. But we have a, a second template, which is called Detail Template. And the difference is very simple. In the in the item list template, we will show everything, uh, all the entries. And usually, if there is a is if there is a bigger field, a field that will require additional information, or even 
it may not show all fields. It may be a form of uh, of 20 fields. And in the list template, we just show the first five fields. And in the detail template, we can show the entire set of fields. So let's have a quick look here and see how we can make use of the, de of the detail view. Let's say that we're going to use pretty much the same template in the detail view, just for the sake of example. But the difference is that the item view, the list view, will not have the message, but the detail view will have the message, let's say, just for the sake of example here, in a different color. Let's apply a different color. Okay. Let's put this in red. Okay. Now, the, the tokens are pretty much the same, but what we'll do differently in the in the item view is that we will add a link that will that will be uh, that is called the view detail link so i'm going to add it right here so if i save this if i update and i go back here to internet explorer let's have a look at this now the the message was removed view details is here if i click on view details uh for either either John or, or Ederson here, if I click view details, I can see the details of that particular entry and I can also see the message here. Now, we have just a few fields, we just have four fields. Again, if we had a huge number of fields, we could display just a few in the list view and display the rest of it in the details view. And with the, the, the view details link, we can go and move from the list view to the detail view. Now let's have a look again here at the item template list. There is a token called dynamic forms edit link. So what I'm assuming this will do is it will create a link from this module, from, from this view back to the dynamic forms view. So we will be able to add it, to make change to this entry back in the dynamic forms. So let's see if this is really the way this works. Uh, we have just added dynamic forms edit link to the item template. I'm going to click update. And if I go back here to Internet Explorer, if I refresh this page. Okay, so right now I can see view details and I can also see edit entry. If I click there. Okay, so it went back to the contact us form. If I, I'm assuming that if I make a change here, this will be reflected back in the in the forms as well. This will be saved. Uh, this this will update this entry. So if I click submit, and if I go back to the forms result, yep, you see, I just put it one there, and it's updated here. If I go back there, I can remove this. I can submit it again. If I go back to the form results, it's there. So very very interesting feature. Very useful feature. This is the end of part two of the video on how to use the dynamic views module from DataSprings to display data saved via the dynamic forms module.